Well, I, you see, I think I think one one thing I would want to caution against is having the hubris that development is driven by people who figure out a solution. I, I think a lot of what is exciting is how people themselves are appropriating technology. So look at the mobile phone. I mean, uh, w what is most exciting is how people are using the mobile phone to much more easily, much more quickly, much more affordably communicate and make the transactions that they would do anyway and make things happen. So for every, every great development invention that we hear about that a group of people set up, there are a hundred other things happening, um, sometimes often under the radar, much smaller, no huge impact in itself. But if you aggregate what there is doing, it's, it's much more powerful. You know, I, I think there are several. I mean, one, one is that we often put the cart before the horse. Um, we, in, in, in my own organization, we've made a number of mistakes where we've become dazzled by the technology without getting the kind of human side sorted out first. So I think that's one problem. But, the, but, but it, underlying that is a deeper, in a sense, conceptual or imagination failure of how we think about development. Um, I think, I think um, instead of looking at what the problem is and how we can solve it, perhaps the, 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 right, the better question or the more promising question to ask is what is working? How are people already appropriating technology and making it work for them? In, in, if you think of many contexts in the world like where I live, where 85% of the population ha doesn't have access to electricity, and yet they've figured out ways in which they can charge their mobile phones every few days. Now, looking at how people make things work and then enabling that to go faster or go easier or go quicker, maybe a more promising way to develop technology for development rather than in a sense sitting in a kind of laboratory, imagine, you know, understanding the problem and then trying to come up with a techno fix. What I'm trying to say is that people are figuring things out. People in a much more rooted, contextualized sense have, are figuring solutions out. And, uh, and what I think we should do is try to reduce the friction in how they are figuring out solutions so that they can, so that the ideas that are already flying can fly higher. One is just develop very good antenna, an out-of-the-box antenna of what is happening um, in terms of um, um, uh, knowing where to look. Uh, often the best innovations uh, will be not done in the development space, will be done outside the development space. Um, a lot of it will be kind of almost anthropological work, you know, so en enabling people to go out uh, or enabling people already out there to send incredible stories of what, what, is, what is happening. That doesn't mean that it's just there, but it, it gives you the seeds of ideas to develop more appropriate technology. So just develop smart antennas, smart R&D in a way that uh, you know, commercial enterprises do all the time.